Hi, Debbie here with Inside Out Wellness. I want to do a video today because of a post that I saw on Facebook today. I think it was from Doreen Virtue. But anyway, the post was about hanging on to anger, resentment, and unforgiveness and why we do that. What's your why? And it really sparked me as a holistic codependency coach because anger and resentment and holding on to grudges can be big in our recovery process. So I've been thinking today a lot about what is the why? And I think it's really good for us to examine, you know, go deep within and ask ourselves if you are someone who tends to hang on to anger, resentment, unforgiveness and loves to hold grudges against those have a, who have hurt you, I think we need to ask ourselves, what's the payoff for us doing that? Why do we do that? And there could be several reasons. First of all, let me say that it's important for us that when we are hanging on to anger and resentment and unforgiveness, when we continue to hang on to that, it hurts us. It doesn't hurt the other person. In fact, it's allowing the other person who hurt us to have control over us because we're giving them that power over us to hang on to that anger and resentment and still focus on them. So when we do that, again, those are those lower chakras, especially that sacral chakra, that second uh, chakra, that energy there is our relationship chakra, our cords of attachment to others and where we stay energetically connected to other people. So sometimes we have to unplug from that energy. We have to cut the cords of attachment that we have emotionally to that energy if it's hurting us. And one of the ways that we can unplug from that negative energy is our responsibility in letting go of anger, resentment, and unforgiveness. Now, one of the whys can be that we feel that if we let go of anger and resentment, we're giving them permission for how they treated us. That if I let go of anger and resentment, then that means it's okay. And that person can get away with it. And remember, it's not about that. It doesn't make the behavior okay, it's about us. It's about us getting healthier and letting go of that negative energy. Your why might be that it's your identity that maybe you're a person who tends to have had the habit of being victim and martyr. And so it's a habit for you. Your identity is to be angry and resent, resentful and blame. Look what this person is doing to me. Look what this person has done to me. Ask yourself, what is the why? What is the payoff? Your why might be, I feel superior. It makes me feel self-righteous. If I can look at, look what they've done to me and look how I'm so angry and resentful at their behavior and what they said or what they did to me, and I'm above that. So it can be judgment. It can be self-righteousness. I don't know. Look at your why. Ask yourself, why do I continue to hang on to things that maybe happened a long time ago, that maybe happened years ago, that maybe happened last week? Give yourself permission, a time frame. Are you someone that maybe needs an hour, a day? before the sun sets, to let go of anger and resentment. Again, remember, it's not saying, it's okay what you did. It's okay the way you treated me. It's okay that you're being abusive. It's okay that you're verbally attacking me. It's not that. We're not saying that. We are responsible to take responsibility for ourselves to not be in situations like that or to set boundaries, but for us to continue to hang on and build that up within us and not let go of that, that we can take out that arsenal the next time that person says something, we can remind them of all the things that they've done to us and all the way that they've hurt us. And that's being victim. That's being on that victim triangle, persecuting the other person. Think about what that's doing to your body. Think about how it's causing that bitterness inside, how it's rotting the bones, hurting the cells of your body. Not only that, spiritually, it is separating you from the presence of God. It's hard for us to be in the light, in the tube of white light, and connect, have our spiritual intimate connection with source energy with our God. If we are holding all this anger and resentment inside, not only when we do that, are we walling ourselves in from the love that the universe has for, for us because we're staying angry and resentful. 
So think about your why today. Think about what it feels like inside your body when you feel that anger, you feel that resentment. And now in closing, I'm gonna do a little exercise, short little exercise that I like to do myself and with clients about unplugging from someone's energy. So just close your eyes right now, take a deep breath, let go. Think about letting go. As you're sitting there with your eyes closed, do a little examination on your body. Start at the top of your head, relax your forehead, let go of any tension in your head, your jaw, your tongue. Move down the body. Are your shoulders tight? Relax your shoulders. Go into that chest and solar plex center. Is there tightness there? You know, that angry tight feeling or fear? Let it go. Relax and let it go. Relax your diaphragm. Move all the way down into the other chakras. Relax your lower chakras below your navel. Relax your tummy, relax your legs, let your legs just separate if you're, fall, if you're sitting, relax your calves and your feet, just let everything, let it go. Physically, feel your body letting go. Now, picture that person as your eyes are closed, standing right in front of you, about three feet in front of you, the person that you have the anger and resentment about. Think about right at that solar plex center, right below the navel, Think about an electrical cord coming out from you and you are choosing to plug in to that person right at their solar plex center, right below their navel. You're plugging your energy into their energy. You're plugged in. You're thinking about all that anger. You're thinking about that resentment. You're thinking about what they did to you. Now I want you to, in your mind's eye, unplug that cord. Unplug it from that other person. Take a deep breath. Let go, call your spirit back into you. Call your energy back into your heart center, back into your empowerment center, your solar plexus center. You have unplugged from that person's energy. Now turn, walk away and feel the freedom that you have. Letting go, choosing to detach and unplug from that energy. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. Namaste.